Hey, good morning guys. We're out here for KRA number four, Newcastle Motorsports Park. And it rained overnight, and I don't know if the camera's gonna show it, but uh, the track is still a little bit damp. Um, so actually, this is the new section of track, kind of called the oval, um, and then that's like the old style track. So the old is dry, this looks wet, but even when it looks a little damp, it's got a lot of grip, so it should be just fine. Um, Ben's getting ready to go off for his first practice. He uh, did a couple sessions, like in my cart and dad's cart yesterday, but he didn't get to take his cart out, so this will be the first time. Uh, he's gonna go out, uh, but all three of us are racing today, and uh, based on yesterday's practice, feeling pretty good. But today's a new day, today's when it matters, so we'll see if we can put it together. <laughs> I'd also like to take a minute to thank that man right there, Mr. Gary Lawson, for uh, a lot of help that he's given me. Um, so I, we have a great support up in Canada, and then Gary was kind enough to give us some advice. So that's ultimately the reason why I went with the CIK laydown see I've been running. And, oh, hang on, here we go. And uh, then also the next piece of advice that I got from him and, and up in Canada, it's amazing, you know, people that know what they're doing, they tend to give the same advice. And, uh, they, you know, I put a hard axle into my car. And yesterday was the first time I ran it. Friggin' money, guys. Oh my gosh, I was so happy. So hopefully I, you know, it was overcast. So hopefully it's still good as it gets warmer. I'm assuming it will be because it's less grip in the car. But man, it was just money. So huge shout out to Gary, uh, as well as our PSL brethren. Uh, but Gary is going, uh, if you haven't heard, he's going solo. Um, so he's starting his own own shop, uh, Lawson Speed Shop, I believe is the name. Although I had floated some alternative names, but uh, he he didn't seem to go for those. Um, but no, big, big shout out to Gary, appreciate it. We are here on a beautiful morning walking around, taking in go-karts, birds are singing. Doesn't get any better than this. And we are here at the Grand Prismatic Spring of Go-Kart Tracks, Newcastle Motor Sports Park. The Morning Walk with Dad. And I gotta tell you, I'm on a roll couple weeks ago it's all personal stuff a couple weeks ago I had a great time at the Indy 500 with my family next week went fishing with the guys we caught some northern pike this week had a cookout with the kids over I didn't burn a single thing I got an invitation to do a really cool podcast which I'll talk about a little bit later and last night representing I went to see REO Speedwagon and it reminded me that when you're on a roll like this, when I was younger, I would always take the logical approach. If you were at a roulette wheel and it had hit red five straight times, I was the guy that was betting on black. Wrong thing to do, wrong thing to do. When you see a streak, you ride that streak. If I'm playing poker, with the guys who I wipe up with and I get a flush and a straight to win a couple hands in a row 
and then I get dealt a four and a nine, a lot of people are folding those cards. No, no, no. When you're on the streak, you ride them because a four and a nine's coming up. <sighs> so we're going to try and ride that streak on into the go-kart racing today. We'll see how it goes, but I'll tell you what, we're going to take every chip we've got and we're going to put it down on that 34 red. Ben, you've been a ray of sunshine this morning. What's going on? I just feel really sick. Really My sick? My hurts really bad. Your what hurts? My head. Your head? Is it going to affect your driving? 100%. So what are you looking at? Like second instead of first? I don't know. I still probably get a full. <laughs> you That's my humble son. Qualifying wrap up. I have been feeling pretty good. And so I went out the lead uh on point in that group and uh just ran solo and really felt good the problem is running solo you don't have the draft with but and with two long straightaways um people that draft are gonna be faster so i i ended up fifth but truthfully like i'm very happy with fifth running solo uh cart feels great man the cart feels good it's more than i can say for ben who there his class is actually out there qualifying now guys i don't know i've said it before i don't know brakes i keep screwing the pooch here he doesn't have doesn't have brakes i thought i fixed it i thought i fixed it and here we are so this might just be a sucks oh yeah this had motorsports. You too. Hey, how is Grandpa going to do at his race? He's going to do good? Is he going to be fast? So, I, uh, I talked in the morning walk about riding that streak and after qualifications. I uh, about grabbed the camera and said the streak is over because I qualified 19th out of 26th. But I thought, you know, you can't be too premature with ending a streak and uh, went out for the uh, pre-final and uh, the cart was really good um, but what was interesting was there was so much carnage I think eight or six six or eight of the top uh, ten carts got involved in scrums and so I ended up finishing 11th and the point being I only need that to happen one more time and maybe uh, the streak continues but uh, actually what's terrifying about it is those six guys that are fast will be uh, right behind me now so uh, we're gonna just enjoy the pre-final 11th <laughs> good finish dad 11th place 11th place look at him go man we're so close to a top 10 He has a waist again. Oh, we have yeah. that snatched waist now. Shout out to our local. It accentuates. Oh man. yeah, it's very accentuating. Yes, our seamstress Donnie Stahl, here for function, not for looks. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so the pre-final roll off fifth here, right behind Dustin, Ryan, and the next two Max. And like I said in the video, the cart was just on point. I mean, this cart's hooked up. Um, and so, you know, it's a pre-final, so you want to move forward a little bit. But, you know, at least for me, my, my goal was to be a little bit conservative. The door opens here on Dustin, decide to take it. And Dustin, my bad, I didn't realize you were still there. didn't leave you much room to get back on. That door kind of opened there on Riley. Um, it looked tempting, but luckily I did not take it because it would have got slammed shut there. Um, so here I am riding in fourth behind Riley. And like I said, it's just kind of more of a conservative race for me at this point. My goal was to finish in the top four. So I, right here I have uh, the chance to make a move on Riley as he lost his momentum. So I move up into third, right behind Ryan in the number 20. So I'm going to be chasing them down here through uh, 
turns one, two, and three, and I was feeling pretty good in this section. Made up a pretty decent chunk of ground there. And you can see the 20 is just a squirrely, and I, I needed to get around them. I, I knew that I needed to pass the 20, um, and so I tried many times, and right there I, I lost my momentum. Riley tried to take advantage of that, but luckily I was able to hold him off. Um, it's just I my goal became to, you know, I needed to pass the 20 to just kind of get to my target area, and so I tried there again, and he was able to hold me off, and I was, you know, I was hoping Riley'd choose me there, but he thought it would work better to, to go to the inside, and it clearly did. Um, so then I fall back in line, push Riley, but right there, I lose Riley's draft. Ryan gets his draft, and so I have to tuck back in line. I think the flagman was just saying uh, two laps to go there. So I'm back and forth here, and, um, you know, if the race ended now, I wouldn't be too upset with it. It's still pretty decent. But here's more opportunity to move forward, so Riley is going to make a move with Ryan pushing him. Now I'm pushing Ryan, and going to push Ryan again, and I just lost my momentum. And so now he's going to make a move on 20, but he was able to, to hold out. So, fall back in line and, you know, see what happens down this trail. Oh, wait, nope, going to have an opportunity. A little bit of a dive bomb. That might qualify as a dive bomb here, but it, it worked out all right because 20 losses momentum. We're going to go side by side down here this straightaway into 70 and the old over under. And I don't know why I made the camera turn that way. My bad, guys. That was just bad editing. He uh, drove off track, and uh, I was fell into third. And third is where I finished in this pre-final, so it gave me a great starting spot for the final. Okay, we're heading down here towards the starting line of the Masters final. Kind of a rarity. I'm up towards the front. I can see the uh, pole sitter. Uh, the pre-final had uh, had a little bit of uh, carnage uh, due to some accidents. So there's about six guys behind me. I'm starting 11th that I knew were coming. And I think right now with getting by John there, I'm not completely sure, but I think maybe for the first time in the history of this vlog, you're riding with a top 10 cart at this point in time. And uh, you know the wasn't as fast as the top 10 but I was close the cart was really hooked up uh, well um, could could run with some people that I normally don't run with uh, lost this pack a little bit uh, as as time progressed and I really really wanted to stick on Chris's bumper and just couldn't do it but uh, here you'll see the the beginning of the onslaught uh, Alan Jenkins is coming down the straightaway here and uh, Alan's a really good driver and, and usually runs up top 10 and and you'll see Phil Brown take a look there and uh, uh, look at me shut the door there Ooh, probably made Phil mad but uh, he gets his chance here as I completely blow turn three pulled in on Alan a little bit I think I checked up uh, just a hair gave uh, Phil uh, lane there and decided not to fight at that point in time. The thing I'd like you to notice is the uh, the number of cart links back I am here because Alan and Phil routinely run in the top 10 and um, you know once they got by me I was afraid it was going to be like uh, that front group especially here early. It just seemed like they really pulled um, and uh, the legend of Newcastle uh, John O'Keefe is coming up on me on the inside here uh, one of the few times that I ever get a chance to bump draft with John. Didn't last long, but it was fun while it lasted. Um, but but the thing, I, I asked Casey to leave a little bit of footage in here, even though it's not very exciting. I just want to take a moment, sit in silence, and watch this, because watch that 34 run with these three cards he never runs with. Let's just uh, Let's just enjoy. Yeah, yeah needed some bird singing in the background but it was um you know the streak was over 
Um, didn't get the top 10 like I wanted, uh, but it uh, was a little bit, I'm not a moral victory guy, but it was a little bit of a moral victory to be able to run with these guys. Actually, the way they were racing, I thought I might have a chance to mix it up with them, but scoreboard hairpin, uh, I blew it. And it cost me a couple cart links, and so as they were going down the straightaway here, I had nothing for them. But it was a good race, had a lot of fun, and uh, maybe one of my better races out there. You want to know what your fastest time was? 11-2. Mm -hmm. So I got to say, reluctantly, the streak is over. We bet on red 34 and it didn't come up today. I think anytime you finish 13th, uh, even though there were some moral victories, that's not what we're out here for. And uh, had a good race and I'll talk about it on the video. Actually pretty pleased, but still 13th. Let me introduce you to the brake doctor. He's got a lot of malpractice suits against him right now. Yeah. But, but I do specialize in transplants. Why do you do that? And we are doing a transplant. Dad, shoot. We have taken Ben's old brake off, uh, his brake off his old cart, and we're putting it on the new one. He could drove, not fix the old he one. He drove all the way home to get it. I mean, we're talking like 50 minutes. Yeah. But yeah, he drove there to get it. Should have said four hours. Ben will tell you it's four hours. Hopefully it works. Okay, man, it has been go, go, go today with mostly Ben's cart um, just trying to figure out those brakes and we we actually might have had them right beforehand there's a decent chance whoever was pulling the brake and I'm gonna leave off names I'm gonna leave off names uh, but they're the other two racers in the family um, there's a decent chance that they weren't being pulled all the way and so I was given a false a false negative essentially but we don't know that for sure Either way, Ben's cart now is good to go. Put the other brake system on it, and uh, he'll be racing from the back in the final. It'll be fun to watch. It's just a bummer because the kid's racing for points, and it's a tough one. I mean, that's, that's going to be tough from a point standpoint, but he can drop some. So uh, for me, oh man, the cart is just incredible. It's just incredible. I am so happy with how that cart is now. So I've got the hard axle in it. Um, yesterday was the first day running it and it's been money since. So the hard axle and that Beasley CIK lay down seat are the ticket, man. So now it's really just up to me to not screw it up. 50-50 chance of that. A big surprise today. Katie and Sean. Oh, hey. And Katie. Look at this. She's a got baby. the snooze button there. <laughs> yeah, Katie. How far along are you, Kate? Wait, can I get my hair down? Can you get your hair down? How far, how far along are you? Uh, almost 30 weeks. 30 weeks. What is that month for us? She's got till August. She's due in August. Yeah, I know. 10, more, 10 more weeks. 10 more weeks. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is. Seven, seven months? Or about. something like that. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, and they're doing it old school where they don't even know the gender. I, I don't have that in me. I couldn't do that, but they can. They can wait till she, till it pops out to see. How many think it's what a boy? Have. I think it's a boy. How many think it's a girl? Wow. <laughs> Just one one person that's right out here. Maddie, I want to go on the record. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to get a win here. Number one, starting three, going to the top. I agree. Okay, here's my final. I start third, and I did not get myself much lead in, so go side by side here with Riley and take second right behind Ryan. And I was more than happy to sit there in second for a while. You know, let's, let's kind of build some separation it's 12 lap race but as <laughs> i might have been happy sitting in second but third and fourth obviously want to move forward so here riley makes a move with josh pushing him trying on my inside into turn one um props to riley for for giving space there so we could go too wide 
but that's the moment I knew like I had to I had to take over first because like I was hooked up and I don't know that I've ever really said this but I genuinely felt like I was the cart to beat out there and so I needed to avoid you know fighting and get to the lead so here I try to make a move on Ryan Ryan does a good job of hanging tough on the outside and gets the better run out of the corner but courtesy of a bump from behind I was able to come back on Ryan and send it to his inside and this time was able to make it stick so for the rest of the race uh, just led and you know we didn't do a lot of fighting up front and so here coming in on the last lap with these long this layout with this long straightaway being in the lead you just have this feeling of kind of being a sitting duck coming towards the finish line so you come up to 70 here and it is a long straightaway where you're giving the guys behind you a draft so you see I duck down trying to minimize my my drag and then so they spread out three wide and I thought honestly I didn't know who won give the guys a thumbs up it was a fun race but I didn't know who had won until right here. I look over the family. There's Ben, Dad, Maddie, all cheering. And man, was I excited. I hadn't won in maybe a year and just felt so good. This is the last lap. Casey is in first currently. Two guys behind him. Look like they're battling for a second though. Third place can go for pass here in this area. Oh, 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 so good for Casey. Go, go. Go, Casey! Go, Casey! Oh, my gosh. Come on, Josh. Those levels are high. Oh, gosh. They're all three. Okay. Hey, bud. Hey, Casey! No! They're all three wide! Casey! first race of the season. How do you feel right now? We're going to Disney World! Yeah! You heard it here first. They're taking all 10 of us. Woohoo! I'm here with Sean Stafford, uh, an unofficial official stall. Um, what are your thoughts on Casey's win today? Start of the race, I said, listen, Case, it's a mental game. <laughs> so it's, everyone's good out there. Mm -hmm. And I've just watched each race before and I just thought, just got to hit the brake a little earlier going into turn two. I said, then you've got to pump the gas a little faster on the straight. I'm pretty sure you're supposed you to drive to... straight through too. Huh? <laughs> I think you're supposed to accelerate straight through too. My mistake. <laughs> it was when you hit the gas there. a little early on the straight and then just did tweak what I mentioned. Yeah. This guy's a born winner. Yeah, look at that. Born winner. <laughs> and that's tennis coach Sean Stafford <laughs> giving his two cents about driving. He has a really fancy scooter though, so he knows all about this stuff. So Ben today uh, did not get to qualify because his brakes were out and then for the same reason did not get to do the pre-final but here he is feeling good starting last going to the break. <laughs> Upsetting break. 
brake issue that has taken him out of qualifying and pre-final. What are your thoughts on what his uh, what his results might be? Well, okay, first we gotta start off. If his car is fixed, yes. <laughs> then the brakes are in fact working. Well, if they're not working, I, I think he'll probably pull off. But, but if they are Or 27, so half, okay, I'll say 13, yeah. I would love a good 13, probably 15. I'm gonna go with 14. <laughs> there we go, yeah. We're thinking in that, that mid-pack range, which is originally what we called ourselves was mid-pack racing. So, maybe Ben's channeling some of that today. But good thing is tomorrow is Exactly, fresh start tomorrow. Well, here I am, ladies and gentlemen, starting dead last in the final. Um, missed qualifications due to um, being sick, but mostly due to the brake. I, I was planning on going out for qualifying, but I pressed the brake in qualifying and didn't have any. So uh, just parked it in the pit area before I actually went out. Um, Logan Stevens in the 53, so the right of me, he's another fast guy. I have no idea what happened. I'm assuming he just missed qualifications for whatever reason as well. So we were, or DNF didn't forget his. Uh, or forgot his transponder, whatever. We were both in the back. And uh, I was like, all right, well, this is fine. We can work together and get going forward. Um, and even here, like, I think he wanted to start in the back. He lets me go here. Um, and I get it. There's most likely going to be some chaos at the end of the ski jump. We're going three wide here. I'm on the outside, uh, able to stick it pretty well um, and get by two carts there. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of get screwed over here a little bit, like just unlucky, really. It's not like intentional but so I have a decent run coming off on 30 here so I'm like all right cool I'll go to the in, uh, inside there and then he of course tries to get on the inside too uh, we get bumper hooked I lose all my momentum there goes Logan that could have been me um, and then I want to stay with Logan so I kind of try to rush it here but I didn't want to pinch him and like you know punt him obviously so um, kind of lost some momentum to the 30 there um, and it takes me kind of uh, uh, you know a turn to get back up to him and here I am trying to just get by him so I'm not wasting even more time get by him and then another number 30 is actually right in front of me again um, and I am trying to basically move up as quick as I can but every time I stop at somebody then it takes you know forever to get to the next person haven't had any practice laps yet because I have had no break so kind of figured it out on the fly luckily I've run this track a million times so it's no big deal um, but have a decent run here in the 30. I'm gonna to look to the inside here as soon as my RPMs are up and I've got a slight draft. Um, peek to the inside and I'm able to complete that pass. And so next up is, hey, time to catch back up to Logan or whoever. Um, I wind up finding a, a fellow Burrell user, uh, Burrell brother, BRBR, uh, Burrell brother, get by him. And then this 163 here, um, actually got off track a little bit earlier in the race and so he kind of came back on um, in front of me I saw the dust cloud and everything while I'm trying to move up and he was in you know towards the front so I know he didn't want to give that position I give the old hey let's go um, push me and he is geared a little bit lower than me so he's got that straight um, top end speed right there that you can see and he didn't really want to work with me I don't blame him because I didn't really want to work with him at the time but uh, we do wind up getting hooked up a fair amount. Well, the rest of the race were pretty much hooked up, but out of the corners, I was just quite a bit better than him, so I was able to 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 uh, get by him, and I was like, come on, help me, push me, push me, push me. But you can see that gear, the rev limiter, um, kicks in for me, but not yet for him, so I am uh, doing everything I can here just to kind of like hold on to the position and get him to, to push me. And I say him push me rather than me push him because he had the lower gear, so he's the one that you want behind since he's got um, he's got the top in speed on the straights. So he can be pushing me past my rev limiter, and then out of the corners he can suck up into me off my draft. So you generally want the guy with the higher teeth like me, more acceleration in front, and the guy with the lower teeth um, with more top and speed behind. It didn't work out like that. I don't blame him. Like we weren't, you know, racing for anything at this point. We're back in like twentieth place, but. Um, we could have 
yeah, I was certainly, I was a little bit agitated, but I also didn't really care that much. I think I was just like, come on, like, I still want to catch these guys. But every single turn on this, or every single lap on the straightaway, he'd get me because he's got that gear. Um, but the rest of the lap, I'd be sitting right on his bumper and coming out of corners a little bit better than him. So I was kind of always wanting to be in the lead and have him push me. But uh, the last couple laps here, it was pretty clear we weren't going to catch anybody. So it was like, all right, cool. Well, we'll just duel. So um, coming up here, I think this is the last lap maybe. Um, I go to the inside here, get a nice little release. But he is right on my bumper. And I did not know him. Normally I can hear him. I had no idea. I like wasn't even. I wasn't looking. I was listening for him to peek out, um, and then obviously I felt him with my bumper, so I actually got into him. But he winds up getting the win anyway, so it worked out for him in the end. I think we finished seventeenth and eighteenth there, um, and it was just. I don't know, it was a tough race, but it was a lot of fun. We were pretty quick. I can only imagine. Yeah, without a draft, we the second off. If we're pushing each other, we're probably close to that one hundred nine seven ish. I'd say. Race is over, and it's that time for the old hair helmet ceremony. Can I do it? You can, buddy. You can. Okay, hang on. That is not the side I want you to put it on. If Dada did a good There's job, also, put it on this side. Didn't That's Dada right. Good so, good side. Oh, perfect. So, Finley chose the rocket ship. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, he also, before the video, That's put on this alligator yeah. chomping Uncle oh, Ben's bad I bunny. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good day, guys. Uh, got the got the gold medal. Now you're gonna see it. Got the gold medal. Yep. Good day. So, families picking out their sticker. What's that? That's what Mama picked out. Oh, you got Mama's? What is it? Let's see it. A unicorn. Okay. Put it over here. Good one. Thank you, honey. Sir, I almost did that one. Next up, we got Maddie. I'm giving you the big gold star because you finally did it. Can I put it next to the tiny gold stars? I or don't think there's really rules like that. So yeah, you can Is put there it there. The Apparently there are. Cause you... I'm very particular on the sides. Was there a rule for the big gold star? Because I think nope. he earned it. He's been fast all weekend. He's had a great attitude and he defended his first spot whenever all of us doubted that he was going to be able to. You all doubted enough. Well, we thought it was too early, yeah. but you defended I it. I thought it was early. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so having heard all that, I am going to say you outfoxed the competition <laughs> and go Ooh. with the fox. That's a good one. That's a good one. Can I say that, that Maddie? Yeah. That was a good fox. It's a good fox. That's a good fox. You ready? All right. Stacey, you're going to have to come to her. No. no. Oh, yeah. Regan bit it pretty hard. <laughs> she has <laughs> got a bandage she here. Was playing, her legs, yeah, ice in her arm. Playing with Finley and just hit some loose gravel. <laughs> All right. So I'm giving you a fly. Okay. Because... You flew past everybody, <laughs> and you're feeling so fly now that you gotta win. So I can go next, please. Just stay over here. Yeah. I'm gonna give him All right. A you just want me to put this over here because <laughs> the turtle beat the hare in case he got a win today. Aww. So great job winning that race. The bad bunny and the good turtle. Jeez, I Look can't even that. fit it oh, on so there. Cool. Look at that. Good job, buddy. Didn't plan this from the beginning. I did. I think I said great. early on I was gonna give him a turtle on his first win too. <laughs> Maybe next time I'll yeah, give him a gold star. Grandpa's Grandpa's gonna gonna put on this looks like a nice little stuff. puppy. But actually in all the stickers, <laughs> it's the biggest dog I could find, and today you were the big dog. <laughs> 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 I like biggest dog you could find is a good job. Are you that's me as a dog? It was a great day though, guys. Uh, thank you to everyone here in this tent. Appreciate it. Without your support, couldn't do it. This one in particular. So, we got another race tomorrow, and Finley's all about running. Um, got another race tomorrow, and uh, gonna try to follow it up with a, another win. In all the excitement, I forgot to uh, give my own sticker. So here at Newcastle, when you win a race, they give you one of these fancy stickers and shout out to uh the wilbers uh levi brought me over a celebratory beer appreciate it man that was very thoughtful there we go